All right, so we're checking out the only game where the distance you are to the sun is directly proportionate to the amount of Florida man that you possess inside of your veins. It's Universe Sandbox 2. Florida is a wonderful place, and by wonderful, I mean horrible. Unlike the rest of the world, we only have two seasons in Florida. Summer and hot summer. Quite frankly, I'm getting tired of everyone bathing in natty light and beating each other to death with car batteries. So I have decided to make the entire universe Florida. In order to make a Florida, you need two things. A lot of sun and a lot of stupidity. And thus, I, that's... That's what we're gonna do. The sun is cool because it allows us to live, but it sucks because it's too small for my purposes. So today we're going to try and make this solar system work with a gigantic sun. How big is gigantic? I would really like to see this work with a sun the size of the solar system. However, just like anything else, you can't drink the 24 pack all at once. You gotta start slow to find out if we can at least, you know, not break out in handcuffs when we do this. All right, so first things first. Uh, I think we're gonna get the sun to be roughly the size of the orbit of Venus, just to see if anything continues to exist, and then I'll probably start putting the planets and the orbits further from it to see if I can find a place where, you know, we could not bake alive and I don't mean the type of baking when you need SPF 100 I'm talking the type of baking when you turn into a gelatinous mass oh righty there we go that's not too bad right while I know this will probably end all life as we know it I still need to try it as one would imagine things are getting very hot right around to the tune of 2,000 degrees Celsius on Earth, or, you know, almost 300 degrees Celsius on Saturn. On a side note, there may be like a 30 second time period where Pluto is habitable. All right, Neptune just skipped into the realm of sad. Pluto is spewing out crap, which is not great. Pluto, can I ask you what the hell you're doing? I'm not gonna lie, from here with all the glowing planets, this is actually a really cool visit. Of course, Pluto is continuing to disappoint its parents. I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up just a little bit. There's a lot of stuff surrounding the gigantic Venus orbit-sized sun that probably needs to crash into it fairly soon. I doubt that it's going to be able to establish a real orbit around this gigantic behemoth of death. Jupiter does look more awesome when its rings are molten fire. This is wild. I thought all this stuff would smash into the sun. I mean, the Earth did. But a lot of these other planets have created an orbit. It's an awful orbit. You know, they're all still burning alive. And Pluto is actually surface temperature wise habitable 11 degrees Celsius. That this is the first time and probably the most easiest time that I've ever had making Pluto not a frozen wasteland testicle formed thing. Yeah, everything settled into orbit. It's all living in harmony. I don't know how, but whatever. All right, I got good news and bad news. The good news is there's absolutely a time period where the surface temperature can support, you know, Florida man on Pluto. The sad part is, is that the orbital period is about 142 years so you're only gonna be like six years old before you evaporate. But hey, that means the drinking age has to go down from 21. Just to give you all a to scale reference of, oh Jesus, a to scale reference of how big this sun is right now. All right, so right here, this is Jupiter. Uh, now let's go ahead and start backing up, backing up more, more, a lot more, you know, to the point where you can't even see Jupiter anymore. That is the sun. Okay, there's a habitable zone. Uh, it's way the hell out here, but it does exist. All right, I have inserted an Earth into this habitable zone. This is a fairly good Earth uh, because it comes with Florida pre-stocked with beer. Not really sure why. The atmosphere's looking a little thin, not gonna lie. It also <laughs> takes over 500 years to orbit one time around the sun. All right, this, this Earth sucks, it's too cold. We need a much warmer Earth. This is not Florida at all. How about here? Okay. Better. Not Florida, but better. How about here? It annoys me that to get appropriate levels of Florida, I have to get into the red zone. There it is. The perfect Earth. 
And hey, this orbital period is only 316 years. Look at that. We got Florida and everything. Apparently, if you stood on the surface of the Earth, this would be what you would see in space. I mean, it would probably look more like that, but. So we've made this work with a sun the size of Venus's orbit. Now let's make this sun even bigger. Time to do this with the sun the size of Neptune's new orbit. Call me Santa Claus, cause I'm bringing. Well, that ain't good. I'm sure it's fine. I'm bringing the sun to all the boys and girls. There we go. All right. Not really sure what the hell just happened there, but we'll pretend that that's totally normal. Oh, isn't that nice? There's a gigantic nuclear explosion that happened on the bottom of my incredibly sized sun. I wonder why. I feel like something is amiss here. Why is this earth suddenly much colder than before? Can anyone explain this to me? Did my sun get a lot colder? Does it suck more now? Okay, so in an interesting turn of events here, I now have to put an Earth, like, really close to the sun. Well, the fact that the temperature area bugs out when my cursor isn't over it right by our sun is probably pretty bad. Florida man approves. Okay, making all this stuff orbit this new sun at, like, really, really fast speeds, it's like the sun is hula hooping some sort of Tron hula hoops. It's awesome. Needless to say, though, the new sized sun has lost its ability to do anything good. The earth is completely encased in ice, and this would be your view from the surface. Half of the sky is just filled with sun. This is not the Florida that we know and love though, which means there's only one way to fix this. We need to make the sun bigger. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, the, this, uh, I, I had to redo the sun. The sun is turning a lot of different colors. Not really sure why. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to keep moving this slider over here and hoping that things turn out okay. I think the issue before was growing pains. We need the sun to grow at a slightly slower pace or it breaks the game. All right, there we go. Now the sun is effectively bigger than the entire solar system. Well, you know, the planet part of it. Okay, I'm currently having a problem where the sun continues to run away with my wife. I think that the issue here is that we're making the radius bigger, but the mass just doesn't want to follow at an equivalent level. So I'm going to have to make this happen in like really tiny increments. Okay, it's working. It's working. There's a little bit of glitching that's giving me epilepsy, but other than that, it appears to be working. All right, the mass is currently like four gajillion times what the sun used to be, but that's Good. I did this just because it's amazing. I made the sun so big that it is now a constantly exploding, rotating black hole that the Earth will rotate around once every 16,484 galactic years. I think that's what G year stands for. This is what the view from Earth would look like. It basically looks like space is fighting with itself for all eternity. <laughs> Not 100% sure what the hell's going on here, but that looked pretty bad. Okay. Yep. Now the sun is just pulsing randomly while destroying everything in the area. That's good. What the hell? Is this Rosrek thing over here slowly growing on the surface of the sun? Why is the sun urinating out all of its mass? Stop that. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of hypnotic. The current gravitational pull of this new giant sun is so strong that I'm placing the earth this far away, that many milky ways away, and it gets dragged toward the sun at like the speed of light. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this work. Oh, Jesus. Something just happened, but I'm gonna pretend it wasn't bad. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Don't blow up. Just, just sit there and be a sun. Oh God, it's working. Oh no. For some reason, it's changed freaking color. I think it's collapsing in upon itself. Also, how come the Earth decided to start rotating the opposite direction? Whenever I see that the orbital period is zero, I don't feel so good. Oh. What the hell is this? What is this? Well, the sun has turned into a see-through orb of explosion, spewing out stuff into the sky. Good. Great. I have destroyed the solar system so many times now. I did it. I finally have it. The sun, the size of the solar system, at just the, the right mass, 
and size to legitimately allow the Earth to exist in the habitable zone that would allow Florida man to be here permanently with an orbital period of 2,779 years. To give you an idea though of the scope of the new sun, there's some of the Earths that when I was trying to find out where the hell the appropriate area was, that is the sun that they now orbit. Okay, so we got that pretty stable. Now I want to go like maximum. I want to make the sun the size of the galaxy. Okay, yeah. It kind of looks like it's working like this. I really want the sun to be bright though. All right, the radius of the sun is now measured in light years. At least I think that's what that measurement is. I don't know. I've never made anything that big before. <laughs> Clearly the only way to double check this is to put a galaxy next to it. All right. Here's the Milky Way. Okay, it is clearly not big enough yet. Come on, son, those are rookie numbers. Let's, okay, Surprise, now we're starting to- <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that came out of nowhere. The sun is now officially bigger than the entire Milky Way galaxy. As a matter of fact, it is eating the Milky Way galaxy. Now I have this pause. I don't know what's going to happen when I unpause this. Probably nothing good. Okay. Everything seems to be fine. I mean, everything is destroyed, more than likely. Uh, we're getting some interesting color patterns as the sun is, you know, angle grindering the galaxy. Let's go ahead and uh, speed things up a little bit. Just kind of curious to see if um, anything starts moving. Takes a long time for a galaxy to move, y'all know. Ah, yes galaxy appears to be uh, getting obliterated as it smashes into the over galaxy sized sun. Uh, what do we add on radius? Uh, 45,482 light years, huh? Okay, good. What the hell happened to the sun? The galaxy won? Where? All right. Maybe if we lock the density, increase the radius. Nope. Sun immediately disappears. Okay, new plan. Come on, sun. Don't fail your father. Don't make me regret that you were ever born. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. I'm seeing a lot of particles go shooting off into space, but that's a good thing. Oh, I got it. It's still sun colored and everything. It's 2.19 Milky Ways. <laughs> I really want this to become a new unit of measurement. How big was the fish you caught? It's 2.19 Milky Ways. Again, I assume that's what this means. I really don't know that much about space radiuses. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, the actual Milky Way over there. There we go. Just giving you a good look to scale at what we're dealing with here. Okay. I uh, I unpaused it. I've got it super slow. Sun's still there. Don't know how many seconds it would exist for, but it's still there. If I attempted to add a planet, like, would it even matter? Because you like you can't see it, right? Yeah, it's. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if it matters. <laughs> yeah, this just in. Giant sun is very hot. All right, just getting the galaxy moving again just to see if it decides to do anything. If it wants to get in on this battle with the sun encroaching upon its turf. Oh God, yep, there it goes. Ah, the Milky Way galaxy is now filled with the fury of the sun. I'm pretty sure that was the black hole eating it. Yep, Sagittarius A, beating that ass. Well, being that it has a ton more mass now it's probably going to end up destroying the entirety of the milky way but that's fine because we managed to make the sun bigger than the milky way itself anyway folks hope you enjoyed this episode of universe sandbox 2 where we ended even more lives than last time <laughs> until next time stay foxy much love